Um, because of their great support, I'd like to welcome our friend uh, Mike Sirachi of AT&T. They've been a champion of the National Archives here and around the country, um, not just supporting this, but a range of things that, um, that really show off what they're all about. So Mike, we'd like to give you the platform. <laughs> Well, good morning and welcome. Thank you for the kind introduction. It's an honor to be here with you today and to represent AT&T, that a company that has been and is committed to a diverse and inclusive workforce and society. We at AT&T are extremely proud to support the National Archives of Mending America initiative and today's conversation on immigration barriers and access. For centuries, Immigration to America has brought people from diverse backgrounds and experiences and have made our country stronger. Throughout our company's 140 year history, and I'm happy to say that I've seen 35 years of it, a diverse workforce has helped make AT&T an innovative and successful company. In fact, we would say that the AT&T story is about innovation and people. Just to illustrate a few key points, about our commitment to diversity. Um, our 50 state workforce is 33% women and 42% people of color. Um, our management is 36% women and 34% people of color. We actually spend 24% of our total procurement spending <coughs> with certified diverse businesses. That's women and minority owned businesses, veteran owned businesses, and that's about $14 billion that we spend with those diverse businesses. We're also investing $350 million in our signature education initiative. We call it AT&T Aspire. It's to enable a skilled and diverse workforce into the future. And frankly, it's about uh, getting uh, kids ready to graduate high school and ready for college and workforce and especially low-income and minority uh, students, and especially steering them to uh, STEM initiatives. And frankly, that is good for AT&T and any business because it's a, we need a technically educated workforce. Diversity makes our city, our region, our state, and our nation stronger. Today's conversation about the barriers and access to immigration comes at an important time in our nation's history. As, as was mentioned earlier, it's fairly, very timely. At a time when we all must work together to help ensure an inclusive society into the future. We, we welcome the esteemed panelists who have gathered here today, and we thank the National Archives for leading this important initiative in today's conversation. I know I look forward to it because I look forward to learning a lot more. So I wanna thank you all for your kind attention, and thank you for being here and being part of this conversation. Thank you.